Friends, what is up? Greg Newmaster here coming at you with another action figure review. Today I have Marvel Legends uh, Apocalypse from Age of Apocalypse. Uh, I had to pick this up early, got it on eBay, paid a little bit more, but it was worth it to me. A uh, few words on uh, Age of Apocalypse. Uh, to me, that's probably the best, if not one of the best X-Men uh, storylines in the comic books. Uh, Professor Xavier's son, Legion, goes back to the past to kill Magneto, uh, to erase all the horrible things that he's done. Uh, Xavier leaps in the way, uh, gets killed by Legion, creating an entirely new alternate reality where Apocalypse takes over. Uh, probably, so top two... X-Men villains uh, is normally Magneto and Apocalypse. You know, take your pick. Um, I, I prefer Magneto as a good guy or in the middle. And uh, and Apocalypse always seems to be the, the ultimate baddie. But um, Age of Apocalypse, awesome. He takes over, uh, pretty much destroys most of the world. Uh, rules America, United States, and uh, is living out his Darwinian uh, ideology of survival of the fittest. And uh, it's just awesome. And if you've never read it, you're crazy. If you love X-Men, you need to read this story. Uh, gra get the graphic novels, get the comics if you don't already have them, but just read it. It's so good. So uh, here we have this figure. Uh, I had the original Toy Biz series of this uh, pre-Marvel Legends uh, when they had uh, Magneto, Weapon X, Apocalypse. I, I don't have this figure anymore um, from back in the day, but just loved it so much, had to get it. And also, if you missed out on the recent Apocalypse Build-A-Figure, which I missed out on... Uh, most of the figures, I wasn't able to get the gladiator figure, and that had the head uh, of Apocalypse. I had all the other figures in the series, so I have the whole body. I even had the Archangel figure with uh, the extra Apocalypse hand, but I didn't get the gladiator figure quick enough. So now that figure goes for over $100, and if you want just the head on eBay, it's 100 bucks, which is ridiculous. But then this figure came out, and I wasn't going to miss out on it, and this figure has two heads, and uh, so now I can put one of those heads on uh, my Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. But anyhow, I already love the way this figure looks. Um, I want you to take a look at the box here. Uh, here's the sign. You see his hands. Um, that's going to come into play with the figure here, because it looks like we have some Colossus uh, hands reused. Here's the back of the box. Uh, it says Marvel's Apocalypse. Apocalypse launches an offensive against humankind in pursuit of a world where mutants rule and only the strong survive. Yeah, if that says anything about Apocalypse, um, that's definitely his mantra. Uh, survival of the fittest, only the strong survive. Um, just, uh, Maximum capacity of evolution and Dar Darwinianism is what um, Apocalypse is supposed to embody. So there's the bottom. Let's crack this baby open so we can all get a look at it together. Uh, it looks like they uh, made a whole new body mold for this, which is really exciting because they just keep um, reusing body molds. Uh, however, uh, they did reuse at least the hands, it looks like, the hands of Colossus, which to me is kind of silly, because it's like, if you're gonna, oh wow, this is awesome already, I can just already tell, I mean, this body mold looks great, I mean, look at those boots, the sculpt of the boots, uh, there's the ankle articulation, we got the pivot there, uh, we got double jointed knees, uh, we got swivel and the boot cut, um, thigh swivel. Great. Uh, to me, this is a new body sculpt, I believe. I don't think they've ever used this sculpt before. 
Uh, could be a Hulk figure, but no. I think this is brand new. I mean, look at the paint details. Great. And uh, we got the... So, uh, not double jointed in the elbows, as we can see. We got the bicep swivel. Um, so it looks like the only reused parts are Colossus's hands from that two pack with uh, Colossus and Juggernaut. But great new body sculpt. I love it. And uh, they even did, uh, they painted uh, the pectorals here a different color. Looks like uh, they have this neck piece kind of um, tied in with um, some plastic here. But uh, here's the open uh, open mouth face. Uh, really great. Love this figure. I'm so glad I picked it up early. Uh, here's his cape. Nice big cape here. Um, there's little holes on the top of the shoulder pads. So if you want to have your apocalypse figure age of apocalypse figure with a cape on it there you go let's let's see what else we got here uh we get uh an extra hand so yeah yeah that's that's definitely the colossus hands just um a different shade of um gray the uh, Colossus hands were silver. They were like a metallic silver. And, uh, oh, we got a closed, um, a very serious face apocalypse head. So I love this head sculpt. Looks great. Uh, slightly different from the original apocalypse head. Um, but not too different. And then he comes with a skull accessory so a human skull there's tons of death and uh just like you know end of the world apocalyptic imagery <laughs> um in the comic itself if you get x-men uh i think it's it's x-men alpha or x-men prime i can't remember i think it's x-men alpha which is the the book that just kicks off the Age of Apocalypse. But look, yeah, you can hold it in the hand there. Uh, pull off this head. So you guys can get a better look. So here is the open-faced... Uh, he's kind of laughing in that image there. Or in that head there. And then we have the serious face. So it just looks fantastic. Love it. Probably going to go with um, the closed closed mouth. I like I like the serious look for Apocalypse. But uh, yeah, I love this figure. Love it. So happy I got it early. Uh, here he is on the back. Yeah, look, you can even see the little paint detail there. Um... Let's take a look at these shoulder pads. Yeah, shoulder pads pop off. So if you want to pop off the shoulder pads, you could do that. Um, what else? I think you can take this neck piece off of his armor. Yeah, so there's just a band there. There's little ports there. So you can port into his traps. Yeah, so on one hand, I like how uh, Hasbro has had, like, sort of, uh, instead of sculpting things on, they, they have removable accessories. And, and on the one hand, it's kind of lazy. But on the other hand, it, it is nice if you want to switch out um, switch out the different pieces of different figures. But, um... There's a little bit of rotation in that glove and that gauntlet there. But uh, actually, no. There is no rotation. You see that there? That is sculpted on there. So you can't, can't swivel that if you wanted to. But, ah, beautiful figure. Love it. So here he is with um, the Build-A-Figure Apocalypse. So I was able to get a bootleg head that somebody 3D printed. Uh, I got it for 10 bucks on eBay. Just never painted it, but uh, yeah, so if I wanted to buy the Build-A-Figure head, this is over $100 on eBay, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, no thank you, but let's do a head swap here. Um, 
and we'll put uh yeah so so that goes on nicely so if you missed out on the head with the build a figure you can have one of these heads to put on your build a figure which is great if you love the original apocalypse uh, here is Toy Biz Apocalypse. This is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends uh, Apocalypse. Kind of um, frumpy compared to these two guys. Uh, he's like fatter. Uh, he a uh, little bit over articulated. You know, we, we got the hand. We got toe articulation. Didn't really need that. Just uh, clunky looking. Compared to uh, compared to these beautiful figures now, um, Hasbro has done a really good job. Sometimes not so good, but like this figure, this is an example of them doing an excellent job. Love this figure. And uh, here he is compared to the OG Build-A-Figure, which I can't even get him into the frame. I'm going to have to bend his knees. To squat him down, but here's my uh, uh, extra large build a figure from the Toy Biz days. Look at that face. Uh, this is one of my favorite all time Marvel Legends uh, build a figures. Uh, the OG giant sized apocalypse. I'm going to pull back here um, in this shot so you guys can see. There he is. Just look at that. Yeah, so so Marvel Legends, uh, Age of Apocalypse. If uh, you're big on this series like I am, I highly recommend this figure. Get it as soon as you can before the price skyrockets. Just a wonderful figure. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, I love doing this, so if you guys... Uh, Subscribe to me. I'm going to keep making these videos, and if not, then I won't. But um, I just love doing this. I love action figures so much, and uh, I want to share the joy and enthusiasm with you guys and vice versa. So uh, God bless you all. Thank you.